this thing. <laughs> Ain't no night like a Saturday night on the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, y'all having a good time. I just tell the way you look and the way you hollering. You know, I've told a lot of stories in my day about rat killings and my brother Sonny what choked that rat to death. Well, today is my brother Sonny's birthday. And I want to wish him a happy birthday. He's at Route 4 Liberty, Mississippi, watching the Grand Ole Opry. Woo! Me and my brother growed up with an old boy named Eugene Ledbetter. Eugene was the lionish human being it's ever been. He is mean, too. Eugene uh, used to like to play dog. He'd get up on the front porch and get out on his all fours and look out through the steps. <laughs> Somebody walk up in the yard, he'd come out from under there. <laughs> Lie. He climbed a tree to get to tell you a lie when he could stand on the ground and tell you the truth. I was eating supper over to Ledbetter's one night and New Gene jumped up and hollered, Oh, there's a lion in the yard, a lion in the yard, he's gonna eat us up. And Uncle Versa, his daddy, looked out, and there's a big collie dog out there. Now, they had shared the hair off of that dog. It is hot summertime. Left a patch of hair right on the end of his tail and a ring of hair around his neck. And Uncle Versa wheeled around and whop, knocked New Jean down. Said, boy, I done whooped you. I done took privileges from you. I done begged you. I don't know what to do to keep you from lying. You go out yonder in the side room. You get out on your knees, and you ask God to forgive you for lying. New Gene went out there and come back in about 20 minutes, had his head down. Uncle Versa said, did you talk to the Lord? Said, yes, sir. Did you tell him how sorry you was that you lie all the time? Said, yes, sir. You feel better about it now? Yes, sir. New Gene said, Papa, while I was out there, the Lord talked to me. <laughs> New Gene, don't, don't lie about God. He said, I ain't lying. The Lord talked to me just like I'm talking to you right now. Uncle Versa said, New Gene, would you mind telling me what the Lord told you? He said, no, I don't mind telling you. He said, the Lord told me the first time he saw that dog, he thought it was a lion too. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Now listen, when young folks, when young folks tell little stories, you know, a lot of times we'll laugh at them. <laughs> well, it ain't all that funny because when they grow up, and they ain't broke the habit of lying, they'll be a grown adult liar then. I went to see my mama during Christmas and they said, New Gene's still lying. Grown adult man. In fact, it got so bad the deacons and the preacher decided they'd go see New Gene and talk to him about it. Basically, he's a good fellow, except he just lies all the time. And they decided they'd go see New Gene and tell him the most unbelievable, bodacious, outlandish, damnable lie that's ever been told and let the preacher tell it and just show New Gene how stupid it is for good folks to lie and maybe he'd get to point and quit lying. They went over and sat down in the living room. New Gene said, what can I do for you? And the preacher said, New Gene, would you believe last Sunday I was up preaching and the back door of the church opened and down the aisle of that church come a great, big, huge, grizzly bear. <gasps> And he come and squatted right down by the Lord's supper table in the church. Right behind that big old bear was a little old bitty, black and white, fast dog. That dog jumped on that bear, and they commenced to fighting. Oh, wallered down the first eight rows of pews in the church. Women fainted. Oh, you ain't never heard such a ruckus in all your life. And when the hair quit flying and the fur quit flying... Would you believe that that little old bitty black and white fast dog had completely whooped that great big old vicious grizzly bear? Whooped him, whooped him, and consumed him right there in the church? Said, New Gene, you believe that? New Gene said, Heck yeah, I believe that. That was my dog. 